Hello, everybody. We are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Hope you all have had a fantastic day. We're here on Yukon to check out this egg white wolf because we got a bunch of highlights from the Diamond with Every Gun series of different rares and trolls that we've found along the way while we were trying to find diamonds for the series. And, well, I was roaming around about to do this intro and I happened to come across this little guy right here, so I figured this is just as good of way as any to start things off, so let's pick up, I think the 454 is somewhere here. Well, I don't have the 454 on me, so I guess we're stuck with the 357, which is going to make this interesting, but as I was saying, we got a bunch of rares and trolls today, and some of them are actually really, really cool, so I'm excited for you guys to see it. But if you are not subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We just recently hit 12,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane, and I can't thank you guys enough for that. But if you're one of those people that hasn't subscribed yet, feel free to do so. I post every single day, whether it be a live stream or a video, typically three to five videos a week and daily live streams, so there is a ton of content to be watched. And let's go ahead and take out this guy while we have the chance. I think that was good. I think it was. It's going to take him a while to die because it is the 357, but that did appear to be a decent shot. And yeah, he's finally losing HP, so we definitely got him. But as I was saying, if you guys haven't already, be sure to like the video. It's a massive help to the channel. Also, leave a comment if there's anything that you would like to say to me, whether it's a video idea or something you liked about the video. I try to reply to as many comments as I can, and it really is a massive help to the channel. Oh my gosh, the distance that this guy ran on a vital hit. He ran clear from right here, clear up to here. And that's why you never see anybody hunt wolves with a 357. That was crazy. I knew it was going to kill him slow, but I didn't know it was going to kill him that slow, so that was a little unfortunate, but 453 meters tracking distance. And I don't think I even picked up his track first. I followed some other tracks for a little bit, then eventually got on his, so it was even farther than that, which is crazy. And that was with left lung, liver, and stomach. That is absolutely wild. Never would have expected him to run that far. We'll go ahead and tax him though, because I do need some rare or uncommon fur type gray wolves to toss into a multi mount, so always good. But now that we got that guy, let's go ahead and jump into the video, because we got a bunch of awesome kills to get through, and I can't wait to show them to you guys, so let's jump straight into it. So I had just come down to this lake to kind of kill a few mountain lions and bears while I wait for the pronghorn to get to their drink zones and I ended up seeing some mule deer crossing by so I shot this guy along with a doe and right after I shot them I saw a level 5 run right in front of me and we definitely need to go take that out. That'll get us the 30-06 or not the 30-06 but the M1 done if we can manage to get this thing. Even if we can't find him, we should be able to just reset the time, and then he should come back to his zone, so... Hopefully we can get him. This has to be his track right here, 175 to 210. That is the max weight estimate, so... I guess that means that they went in this direction. I see a mountain lion, but I'm not seeing the mule deer yet, so we might have to do a little bit more searching. But he's definitely going in this direction. So this guy is actually going straight up into the mountains. If we can actually find him up here, this is going to be a pretty cool place to take one down. I'm thinking about just slowing down my movement speed and trying to sneak up on them. Because I kind of want to take it up here. So I guess what we'll do is we'll take a little bit of a slower approach than I typically would and just kind of hope that we can not spook them off. Because it would be really cool to take one up here. Well, there's the smaller buck that's with him. Now, the question is, where is he? I haven't seen him yet, but I'm guessing he's got to be somewhat close to this guy. Oh, there he is. There's that giant right there. I don't think that thing's going to be a diamond, though. That doesn't look like a diamond. And I'm actually not sure what just happened there. Well, then. I guess we're going to have to chase him a little bit more. I feel like that shot should have hit, unless the tree just has an abnormally large hitbox, which is also possible, I guess. Oh, there he is. There he is. 
He's finally coming over the hill. Wow, that is an awesome sight. I've never seen a mule deer look like this. And we got him down. That is very interesting. I can't say I've seen a level 5 mule deer that looks quite like this guy. Which makes me kind of worried that this might actually be a troll. And that would be very unfortunate if it is. But we can hope for the best. Hopefully this guy will actually be a diamond. Because if he is, we'll be able to check the M1 Garand off the list. But this definitely looks different than pretty much all the fives I've seen. But is it a diamond? It's just a gold. Oh, by just barely. You know, I would think that this can probably actually make diamond. I bet this rack can make diamond. And if that's the case, we have a new rack that we need to try and get diamond of. Because this basically looks like the one that has the touching brow tines, except it doesn't have the touching brow tines, which is really cool. This might be the coolest level 5 mule deer I've ever killed. We're actually going to tax this, even though it's a troll, because I really like this rack, and I actually don't know if we're ever going to find one of these again. That's awesome. Sucks it didn't make diamond, but still really cool. Well, that is not the diamond that I'm looking for, but that is an albino mountain lion, it looks like. Pretty sure that's albino. Oh yeah, that definitely is. There's no way that that thing is a gray. That is 100% albino. But it's definitely not the uh, diamond that I was looking for. I'm trying to find diamonds for the diamond with every gun series. And, well, this is what we end up finding instead. But can't really complain. It's always nice to get an albino. So let's make sure we get a good shot on him, which shouldn't be too hard as that turkey speeds off in the background. Let's see if we can get his buddy, too. Uh, might have been a bit low. That was good, though. So that's pretty sweet. We got ourselves an albino. Not what I was expecting to find, but definitely a nice bonus. So let's grab this guy first. We actually shot him in the skull somehow? I guess he turned as we shot, so... That explains why we didn't get vitals on that first hit. Nailed him right in the face. That's a little unfortunate. Couldn't even save the gold on him. But this guy right here is the real awesome kill. That is so cool. Albino Mountain Lion. I don't know if this is my biggest or not, but that's a pretty good one. 37.40. A very solid level 7. So let's get a screenshot and taxidermize him real quickly. That is super cool. That is absolutely awesome. Oh my gosh, that is a level 5 Rocky Mountain Elk, but that is a guaranteed troll as far as I can tell. So that's a little unfortunate. 457 on the upper estimate means that this guy has absolutely no chance of making diamond. Therefore, we're just going to try and smoke him with the 338 when he gives us a good angle. Although he's kind of just booking it, so... I don't know how this is going to go, I mean... Looks like he's heading down to the water, kind of. Maybe we can fast travel to the tent and actually get a better angle. Guess it's worth a try. Ooh, it actually did work. He is right there. Let's go ahead and get him to stop. And then we should be able to zero for 300. And get a shot into him. And that looked to be pretty good. He is going down. That's really unfortunate that he's a guaranteed troll, but it's been a little while since I've seen a level 5 Rocky Mountain Elk on my own map, so can't complain. At least we're getting something. He really did not run far at all, which I guess is to be expected if he gets shot with a 338, so... I don't really see what is making this guy's score so low. He looks to be pretty massive. I guess maybe just not as many tines? I guess that could be it, or maybe not as long of main beams? But he is a 454, which is very low for a level 5, so that's very, very unlucky. But like I was saying, it's still a max level Rocky Mountain Elk, so it's still pretty cool regardless. Just not anywhere close to what we were hoping for. So that's a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. Oh my gosh. 
There we go. We finally have a level 5 feral pig. Oh my gosh, I have been wanting one of these ever since the map released. I got a couple when it was in the early access phase, but I've not got one since the servers went live, or since the map went live, I should say. And we've been trying to find one. We did quite a bit of grinding on one of the live streams about four or five days ago, and it looks like it paid off. That is a level five feral pig. Now, the only issue here is I have no idea where this guy's going. So, for all I know, he might be going across the map. So, we're going to be chasing him down and hopefully we can end up getting a shot into him. Oh my gosh, he's a black gold too. That is super awesome. We've got him moving this way now, which is a lot better. I shot the 22 next to him and it seems to have redirected him a little bit. Which is huge. This is exactly what we needed. This is probably going to make it to where we can actually sneak up close to him. So we got him alert at 104 meters. We are going to be using the 357, so I'm not sure how this is going to go. It can zero up to 75, so I'd say this is definitely a doable shot. It's just, do we want to actually take this? I think if we run, we should be able to, there we go. That should be a good shot. And it is, he's going down pretty fast. Now we just gotta pray that we didn't hit spine. I think that was probably double lung or spine and double lung. If it's spine and double lung, that's probably best case scenario. But definitely cutting it close, but it is vitals. Oh my gosh, we actually just got that. I can't believe that. I can't believe that we got a black gold potential diamond feral pig. And we did it with the 357 while this thing was trying to get to another zone. That is honestly the last way I expected to find one of these. But man, that thing is absolutely beautiful. I'm super, super happy. Let's get a couple different angles for these pictures. That is such a beautiful pig. Such a beautiful pig. Let's go ahead and claim him. If this trolls us, I'm going to be very, very sad. And it did, it trolled us. No. Are you kidding me? 142.70. That is so sad. This is probably the coolest thing that we have seen so far on this series and I really wanted this thing to make diamond. Well, I guess the search for a diamond feral pig continues. I was really hoping that this would have been the one, especially with how perfect everything just ended up. So we don't really have a lot to show off this time. The only thing that I actually saved was that mule deer because I do think it's one of the coolest looking mule deer we've ever killed that was a level five. I'm just so sad that it didn't make diamond because this would have been easily the coolest diamond mule deer of them all, but unfortunately he was just short. But this does make me think that this rat can make diamond and if it can then we'll definitely try to get one because as you guys can see that's probably the most realistic looking one out of all of them. It looks way better than the droopy tine one and it looks way better than the touching brow tines and all of the extremely wide ones. This guy's still pretty wide himself, but I feel like he's a little bit better than the others are. So let's hope eventually we can find a diamond with this rack, because that would be my ultimate dream mule deer. It's unfortunate that he scores so low, though. Other than that, I don't think we put anything else in here. I'm pretty sure I tossed the mountain lion into a different lodge, and I don't really feel like looking for it right now. So we'll probably just go ahead and end the video, but... Thank you guys for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing. I post three to five times a week and do daily live streams, so if you guys are interested in any of that, be sure to subscribe. Also, be sure to like and comment on the video for YouTube's algorithms. It's a massive help in getting this video pushed out to more potential new viewers. And also, if you guys leave a comment, there's a very high chance that I'll reply to it. I do my best to read and reply to as many comments as I can, or at the very minimum, heart them so that you guys know that I at least saw them. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!